Why do we look so different from our primate friends and the first humans who walked the Earth? Scientist Charles Darwin and his theory of human evolution can explain this. Human beings have transformed through our history and are constantly evolving. Our ancestors and transitional ancestors left us many characteristics that became evolutionary advantages, but they also left us with many unsolved mysteries about our bodies that science cannot explain. If you're intrigued by these mysteries as I am, put on your best detective hat and join me in exploring and deciphering the unsolved mysteries of human evolution. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Brain rewiring. How many times have you resorted to Google before searching for information in your brain? I'm sure quite a few times. Technology has affected the human brain since now we have the possibility of having as much information as we want in a matter of seconds. We enter Google or Wikipedia faster than we can remember or search for the information in our brain. Perhaps when technology is more advanced, our brain will adapt and improve its speed, but at the cost of our memory. Nails on a chalkboard Probably the worst sound man has ever heard is the sound of nails tearing through a chalkboard. We have all heard it sometime, even by accident. When our teacher started writing with the new chalk that ripped the chalkboard terribly. Believe it or not, there may be a logical explanation for our aversion to this sound, and others like it. The sound of tearing glass with a sharp object or the sound of a marker on an acrylic board. Many scientists claim that the frequency of these sounds is very similar to that of a crying baby or the scream of a person which activates a defense mechanism in our bodies that associates these sounds with a nearby danger. In addition, the part of our brain that processes sounds is connected to the part that processes negative emotions, causing us to have these instantaneous and involuntary reactions to sounds that we don't like one bit. Tickle. Have you ever wondered why tickling makes us laugh? Well, it has not yet been possible to determine an exact cause or reason for this reaction. But in ancient times, medieval warriors tortured their victims by tickling until they literally died from laughter. However, some researchers have determined that the part most sensitive to tickling are also the most exposed in combat, which is related to another theory that tells us about the importance of tickling our children since they react involuntarily and protect the most important and vital parts of their bodies. What do you think? Do you really think it's a reaction to protect us? Why do we cry? Which of these is a good reason to cry? Hitting your big toe or little one on a table? losing a loved one, or crying for no reason. Neither of these is a good reason to cry, because crying is not really a useful biological behavior, and why we cry is a big mystery. Science has proven that emotional tears have a different chemical composition than tears that lubricate and protect the eye. And one theory about this states that emotional tears have healing properties. One of the most fascinating theories about why we cry is that crying evolved as a cry for help. Another theory suggests that the tears were a symbol of submission which will encourage others to help the person or at least not to hurt them. Do you think that tears are a cry for help, have healing properties, or that they have no logical reason at all? How to cure a hiccup I am sure you've tried everything, drinking water, holding your breath, getting a good scare, but there is certainly no effective method to get rid of your hiccups. This involuntary contraction comes from the diaphragm, caused by eating too much food or drinking alcoholic beverage or soda, a few of the reasons. But don't worry, hiccups usually last a few minutes. There have been some cases where hiccups have become a real problem even being a symptom of an undiagnosed illness. For now, you will have to make do with the home remedies you'll find on the internet. But if it persists, remember to visit your doctor as soon as possible. How 
general anesthesia and Tylenol works. Do you know what happens in your body when you have general anesthesia? I am sure you don't know and you are not alone. Not even your doctors knows the answer. It's a little scary, don't you think? No one knows for sure how they work, but scientists have been trying to unravel the mystery of general anesthesia for a long time. Local anesthesia blocks pain signals before they reach the central nervous system by altering the functions of proteins in the nerve cells. But how general anesthesia modifies different proteins in the nervous system is very confusing. And there are many types of anesthesia that work in different ways, which makes their functioning even more difficult to explain. Something similar occurs with the functioning of Tylenol. Many people believe that this is an anti-inflammatory that blocks enzymes that prevent inflammation and pain, but acetaminophen, which is found in Tylenol, does not have anti-inflammatory effects. What scientists believe these little friends do is change the way our body perceives pain by altering the proteins in the nerve cells. This may be a mystery that hopefully soon will be solved. Why do we itch? One of the most common sensations in the life of the human being is itching. Scratching can be a pleasant sensation, but that can cause damage to your skin. Mechanical itching occurs when the fine hairs of our body are in contact with something else. Most of the time, there are insects or parasites that are on our skin, so scratching can drive them away. But if the mosquito has accomplished this task, the itching sensation is already caused by the bump, which forces us to continue scratching. It is not yet fully known if this type of itching has a purpose or is simply a reaction of the nervous system. Why do humans have big brains? Even if you're not the smartest in your class, you can be proud of being the biggest brain creature in the entire animal kingdom. I know what you're thinking. Of course, giant animals like the whales or the elephants have brains that are bigger than us, but they are proportional to their bodies. On the contrary, the human brain is six times larger than it should be in proportion to our bodies. Besides, this essential organ needs 20% of all the body's energy to survive. Some scientists have theorized that the cause of this extreme growth of the human brain was social interactions and the development of problem-solving skills. But one of the most widely accepted theories is that the brain increased in size due to the ecological and social challenges faced by humans during their history. These ecological challenges allowed humans to continue learning new skills as they age and to expand their brains more and more, something that other animals cannot do. Keep learning more every day so that your brain becomes bigger and more powerful. Why are we alive? Have you ever wondered why we are the only human species still alive? Today, apart from us, Homo sapiens, we have some close relatives still alive. The great apes that are divided into chimpanzees, bonobos, two species of gorillas, and two species of orangutans. But many, many, many years ago, there were a lot of human species roaming the Earth. So why did they become extinct? Natural disasters were one of the reasons why some species disappeared. Other species were not able to adapt to different climatic changes of the time and had the bad luck to migrate to areas with little food. Finally, another key factor was the evolution of one species in relation to another, which led to having the knowledge and tools necessary to overcome any threat. We could say that we were the lucky ones who survived. Why did our ancestors left Africa? Africa is the cradle of humanity. The first humans were born and raised in this wonderful continent. There, they had everything. Food, water, and enough land to continue with human reproduction. If everything was so perfect in this place, why did these humans decide to migrate to other places, leaving the safety of home, which everyone already knew, was certainly a great risk since moving to another place meant adapting to a new climate, learning to fight new predators, 
and taking care of new diseases. So what other reasons could human beings have had to leave Africa? The desire to travel and learn? To explore other territories? We will probably never know. The loss of the little finger. How many times have you not hit your little toe? I know, it's painful. But probably in a few years, it will not be an inconvenience anymore. Many years ago, human beings used these feet as well as their hands to be able to climb and grab objects. But as time has passed, we have evolved, which has caused the size of the toes to be reduced. Now we don't climb, we just walk. And our own body has taken care of getting rid of our fifth toe. However, the biggest one still serves to keep our balance and to be able to walk. For these reasons, perhaps in a matter of years, our bodies will make decisions to eliminate parts that are not necessary for us and avoid some painful inconveniences. How office workers will look in 20 years? Long periods of sitting in an office can bring you more problems than you can imagine. And Emma is a clear example of what awaits us if we do not improve our working conditions and health. She's a mannequin of the average size of a person, but her back and neck have been transformed to show the consequences of sitting incorrectly in front of a desk and that this can cause problems in our bodies. This was a job done by researchers who, after interviewing over 3,000 employees about their health problems and concerns, envision the average office worker in the near future. Not only does Emma have a hunch over posture, she also has red eyes due to the dryness caused by long exposure to a screen, and her skin is dry from not receiving natural light. If we do not make changes in our routine, modifying our posture, practicing exercise, and healthy eating, the future that awaits us could be painful, where our body could be highly affected. Although science has advanced so far in recent decades, there are still many mysteries about our species that simply cannot be explained logically or by the most brilliant scientists. We humans are still a big unknown to science, since we don't know our own origins, how our bodies work, and we have very strange reactions to certain stimuli. Do you know the answer to any of these mysteries? Do you know why we react to laughter to tickling or with tears to strong emotions? If you know these answers, you must have a brain even bigger than a normal human. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.